Another trend we're seeing as we enter 2026 is the vendor lock-in backlash. For years and decades now, big ERP vendors have tried so hard and been successful in getting their customers to deploy one single ERP system that's very difficult to replace. And with high switching costs comes steady, predictable, recurring revenue, and it comes a lack of customer churn, and it's what every software vendor investor wants to see. However, customers are starting to push back on this model. I think we're seeing it most prominently in the SAP space right now with ECC customers that are simply resisting or rejecting the idea of moving to S4 HANA. And the reason for that is because they don't want to move from one vendor lock situation to a new vendor lock situation after they've just spent millions of dollars and a ton of risk and time to get there. So with more options in the marketplace around composable ERP, more modular, interoperable types of systems, it doesn't necessarily make sense in all cases to go all in on one ERP system and be locked in and at the whim of that one software vendor. You have more options now and you can hedge your bets and find the best solution that fits you by going a different route.